Buckle up, tarnished. Let's get into this video right away. For everyone struggling fi uh, fighting bleed, you know you could just turn them off in the settings, right? Like, come on, and you know the blood options just turn out. There you go. Bleed is not existing anymore. Just turn it off. It's that simple. <laughs> See, this is why, you know, sometimes playing PvP is just, you don't do that. <laughs> just play New Game Plus, have fun. It's more of a PvE game, let's be real. But before we go any further into this, I need to introduce you to today's sponsor, Nino Kuni Cross Worlds. Thanks to Netmarble. Thank you so much, Netmarble, for bringing this amazing game to the front of the room, baby. <laughs> and if you guys are familiar with Nino Kuni, you know that it's made by Studio Ghibli. And they make amazing graphics and vistas and artwork all over that you can go and explore on your own. There's beautiful landscapes such as a magical kingdom, a whole witch's magical academy, and even a cool casino oasis in the desert. It's Gorgeous. There's currently five classes that you can choose to play by, but you know that I chose Lily's class out here, which is an engineer. And I, I just can't, I can't get away from that. It's fun. It's close enough to a mechanic. There is lots of good customization options just to make sure that the character is designed to your choice, which I really appreciate that. Come on, man. You got some toast in your mouth. She's late to her appointment out here. And it's even got a fun little mechanic where you can have your familiars battle with you side by side, just like in the original Nino Kuni. And, you know, one of them may be a little bit familiar, if you know what I'm saying. So if you're a fan of anime games, or if you're a fan of me, or if you're just a fan of Studio Ghibli in general, definitely use the free pre-registration link below in the description check it out and have yourselves a good time thank you once again for the sponsorship and let's get straight back into the video aragorn and elden Ring. oh and he opens up the gates uh-huh and there he is outside let's do it to the air tree takes out the tree sandal aragorn vigo mortensen himself beware of death i do not <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna fight Morgoth. Oh my god, this is amazing. The editing. Oh, he's got the Skeletal Warriors there, too. Oh, that's just like the freaking third movie. You're all I say. Oh, he even helps his boy. Even fighting Radon. I mean, he, he can't play Elden Ring without fighting Radon, even though it is optional. But it's Radon, man. It's too cool. There I go. And now he's Elden Lord. My l Oh. Oh, that was good. That was a banger. I think I have seen Lord of the Rings at least 50 million times. <laughs> it's probably one of my most watched movies of all times. One, two, and three. I've watched them so, so many times. And they're all three hours, especially the three hour and like 45 minute last one. Oh my Lord. Oh, flame guy coming in. Oh, gotta run away. Oh, oh. We got a little imp there too. Gravitas. Not bad. Wait, they came back, dude! <laughs> you know, you thought it would be cool for some fall damage, but they just come right back up. That's rough, buddy. I didn't even realize he was the one who pulled that lever, which got them safe in the first place. Oh. Oh, he messed up his own plan. So, all the iterations of Let Me Solo Her, the original. Uh, let me date her and he's got the flowers. Yes, I've seen that one. Uh, let her solo me as he goes in there to get destroyed. And let me solo me as he supukus himself. And do it yourself as the guy probably just sits there and does nothing. I like that. Alright. May Deadless. Is anyone here May Deadless? Oh my god, it's one of those calls again, isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know, you, May is definitely a name, but I don't think you could ever get away with Deadless. I don't know if you can do that. So this is actually just really clever of how he did the pose right into her arms, bro. Right into Rodrika's arms. That is... That's nice. Is she best girl? I mean, Ronnie's kind of up there. I guess, you know, if you don't get the translation messed up from the English to the Japanese, she's a lot better looking. And she's kind of a villain in the English one. I don't know why they don't fix the translations. It's like well known. It's mistranslated. Roddy, I'm finally not busy this weekend. Can you please teach me how to turn into a doll so I can get closer to my daughter, Ria? Mm -hmm. 
And he just turned into a dollar. I guess that's cute. I don't see him ever bonding with the daughter. The petite fear, the, the mom is very close to the daughter. And, you know, they love each... You can tell that she loves her very much. But, um... I don't know about Rikard. I don't know about that guy. I think he just wants to eat people. God's can do in a nutshell. And we have long cat and chunky cat. <laughs> oh, very intimidating indeed. I would love it if someone actually made a mod where they made all uh, the bosses in Elden Ring into just cute, cute, stupid animals. I think that would be great. I think that would be really fun. I mean, I literally played Moemon, which is just a reskin version of Pokemon games, and it made the game vastly different. Ma, get good, scrub! As he destroys all the you know, newly tarnished and just stomps on all their hopes and dreams, and 50 hours later, ah, oh, shiz! He more got good! Oh. All right, good pun. How have I not gotten that pun after playing this? I feel ashamed that I didn't get that pun myself. I'm ashamed of myself. The first time you go to the church of vows at night and you see that son of a gun. What have you done to Pope Turtle Monster? You friggin' bell bearing hunter, you goddamn son of a gun. The strange thing is though, he does show up on multiple sites uh, to fight him at night, but the merchants are always alive afterwards. So it's like, he's like supposed to hunt them and kill them, but I guess maybe they're hiding and they know he's there. I don't, I don't understand the lore. I think it's just, I don't know. When you go to New Game Plus and try to collect every talisman, and oh, what have I done with the shards of Alexander and the prosthesis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's disgusting, man. Killing your boy. And then also the girl at the end. It just doesn't feel right. It's so hard to do that. Like, I know even in New Game Plus, it's going to be a struggle to not, you know, murder them, but it's. So this is Radon getting ready to smack some tarnished as he gets dressed up onto the little tiny horse. Here we go! Sailing out to destroy ye tarnished. <laughs> Aw, I like all the roller skates in there too. Not really doing much, but uh, just kind of pulling him along thanks to gravity magic. I like that. Very cute and clever. So here we see a purple thing on a body. Ooh, it must be a great item. And the oh, Arturi sleep. Oh. There it, is. it was just Jubate again. I hate that. I know that they love Jubating us to like dangerous areas uh, just to get that at the end. It pisses me off. As a completionist, that pisses me off. Ah yes, the big balls. Hate those dang things as they chase it. Wait, why it's not chasing? Oh, okay. Well, I guess easy clap then. Wonder why, wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Oh, that's just BM. Instantly teleports above you. Oh my, one more. She did you. That's toxic, man. If we brandish the ring, I'll sit on your. <laughs> the good old Genos meme. <laughs> Sitting on the face. All right, Melina. I will absolutely do this. We have the court. Melina. I always get Melina Melena. I don't know why those names are so similar. I feel like it's maybe on purpose because they have a lot of things that are on purpose with the naming things. But like, man, that messes me up. We should take this, yeah, the twins, and push it over here to the blacksmith. Yeah, I, I do feel that. I don't like having to run all the way across the round table. Just to get a smithing stone from the- Oh, it's so annoying. My blood stain showing others what cliffs not to jump off of. It ain't much, but it's all this work. Oi! Does <laughs> it just go off the cliff? Oh, that's where I died. You never trust any of those, like, jump here signs if you see blood stains all around the cliff. You never trust that, bro. You will be the Lord of Blood, says the creator, and that means I'm immune to bleed, right? Right? <laughs> Why is the Lord of Blood vulnerable to bleed? That doesn't make a lot of sense now, does it? No. It would be cool if like the bleed mechanic on him just made him get like more blood around everywhere and you would have to like dodge it. So it just makes his fight even harder. I think that would be a cool thing. Oh, I've seen this one before. Nice try, chair. You could hold a precious item there, but I'm not sitting on that. <laughs> Where's my fire damage? I'll take care of this. 
When you and the Both are both at 1 HP and you don't want to risk it as Indy's facing off. Wait, let's go to my equipment. Uh, hold on, I think I have a throwing weapon in here somewhere. Ah, there we go, crystal dart. There we go. <laughs> Great enemy fell. That indie scene was completely improv. Harrison Ford, that grumpy old man, he was a grumpy young man too. And he just didn't want to do it that day. He was tired and so he's like, screw it, I'm just gonna use my gun. And the actor went along with it and so they kept it. It was a really good scene. Oh yes, the bridge at the Volcano Manor. One that you have to extend, but no, the man decides, oh, there's a blood stain over there that's... Oh, he jumped off this side, oh. Well, that must be invincible then, it must be... Well, right into the lava, bro. <laughs> to be fair, there are invisible bridges in the game. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where they are, but they do exist, and they're annoying. <laughs> I like, I, I legit never saw one of them. I wouldn't have seen them unless I looked it up, and there was messages literally all around the invisible bridge saying, hey, maybe you should jump on here. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is cute. So, the Crucible Knight with the fams out here, and she wants to have some attention, so she just extends her neck up a little bit more. <laughs> like, yes. All right, that's cute. I don't know why that's cute, but that, no, it's cute. So, Godfrey teaching the Tree Sentinels some stomping ability. So, this is how you stomp. And, like, yeah, I did a stomp. Pog. And, no, no, stand back. This is how you stomp. <laughs> As everyone just goes crazy. I wasn't aware that Godfrey taught the Tree Sentinels. Uh, or the Crucible, I should say, Sentinels. The Tree Sentinels, he would. But the Crucible Knights? I thought they were the old tree. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta brush up on my lore. So I love the magic symbols in Elden Ring. Look how cool they are. Especially the last one right there, man. What that does is keep you uh, awake and take all of your uh, money, <laughs> all your runes. It just gets rid of all of your runes. No, I haven't seen Zorios anywhere. And she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? And no, she's just downstairs playing Minecraft. <laughs> Yo, she got some RGB RAM in there, dude. Let's freaking go. That, that looks kind of like my case almost, actually. <laughs> to be fair, I would I would play Minecraft, you know, if I was stuck in that terrible world out there. You kidding me? Elden Ring. That is not a place I would ever want to get isekai'd into. So what if the roles of Radon and Leonard were reversed, huh? Where we have one big Chadley horse and a small man throwing tiny pebbles. <laughs> It'd just be like a jockey at that point, wouldn't it? It would just be like a legit jockey. So this was to prove a point as I'm touching my girl's hand in front of the man who called me maidenless. I wasn't aware that she would appear there. How'd you manage that one? That would probably piss him off, wouldn't it? No, no, item, item, ahead, ahead. No item ahead. Seek precious item. <laughs> As we go, I will venture that I need to be sure for my own eyes. Yeah, I'm the same. I, even if I see that, I won't trust it. Maybe they're trolling me. There could be something there. There could be something there. All right, though, gamers, that's where I'm going to call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed some tarnished memes. I just kind of went straight into it because, hey, I just like some Elden Ring memes. I'm just running out of games to play. I'm playing Fortnite again. You don't understand. You don't understand. And Chino's playing with me. It's a disease. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like for me and subscribe to maybe save my sanity from uh, going any further into the depths of... Lunacy, and uh, see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother. <laughs>